So we're going to start this practice from an all fours position. So bring your hands right under the shoulders and the knees come hips width apart. Exhale, begin to spread the shoulder blades, draw the navel in and curl up the spine, draw the chin towards the chest. Inhale, let the belly drop, open up the heart, tailbone and chin move up. Exhale, draw the navel in, spread the shoulder blades. Inhale, belly drops, open up the heart. Keep going like this just a few more times. Moving with your own breath. And then return back to tabletop position. From here, lengthen your left leg behind you and begin to rock forwards and backwards. So you should feel this on the wrists, on the back of the left leg and the sole of the left foot. Stay with your breath as you're moving. and then come back to center. Come to the outer edge of the left foot and reach your left arm, left arm up and over, coming to your side bend. Try to stack your right shoulder right on top of the right wrist and turn your gaze up towards the sky. With an inhale, find a bit more length in the left side of the body. And with an exhale, settle into the posture. Take one more inhale here. And with the next exhale, lower the left knee down on the ground and reach the left arm under the right armpit towards the right. Bring the left ear on the ground. Right hand can stay where it is, or you can reach your right arm forwards. Try to keep your hips right on top of the knees and the hips should stay squared. Breathing into your shoulders. With the next exhale, place your right hand under the right shoulder. Inhale, lift the left arm up, gazing towards the left fingertips. Exhale, left hand comes down on the mat. Lengthen your right leg behind you. We're going to the other side. So just rocking forwards and backwards. Stay focused on your breath, observing the sensations in the body. Come back to center. Flip over to the outer edge of the right foot and reach the right arm up and over, gazing up. Left shoulder stacks on top of the left wrist. Inhale, find a bit more length on the right side. And exhale, bring the right knee down on the ground. Reach your right arm under the left armpit. Bring the right ear on the ground. Either stay here or maybe you lengthen the left arm forwards. Breathing to the shoulders. If you want, you can close your eyes over here. With the next exhale, place your left hand under the left shoulder. Inhale, reach the right arm up, gazing towards the right fingertips. Exhale, right hand comes down on the mat. Keep your hips right on top of the knees and start to walk the hands forwards from the chest towards the ground. You can lay the forehead on the mat. Or if you're quite open from your shoulders, maybe you place your chin on the mat, looking forward. Coming to your melting hard posture. Mm -hmm. 
Keep your gaze relaxed. Maybe your eyes stay closed. Deep, full inhales through the nose. Deep, full exhales through the nose. Start to walk the hands back under the shoulders. Curl your toes under and with the next exhale, draw your seat up and back to downwards facing dog. You can paddle the feet a couple of times. Bring some movement into this first down dog. Switching the weight from the feet to the hands and back. Nice, and then start to stabilize your dog. Spread the fingers, spread the toes on the mat. Draw the navel in and tilt your sit bones up and back. With an inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring the weight forwards and gently step your right foot between the thumbs. Lower the back knee on the ground and with an inhale, lift your chest up, reach your arms up. Come to your Anjaniasana, low lunge. You can stay here or maybe interlace the fingers, point the index fingers up towards the sky. Make sure that the front knee is aligned with the front toes. Draw the navel in and then let your hips sink forwards and down. One more inhale here. Exhale, release the hands down. Walk your fingertips forwards. Lift your back knee off the mat, gazing forward. So then inhale, lift your back leg up. Weight is on the right leg. Lengthen the chest forwards. And then exhale, begin to fold towards the right leg, coming to your standing split. Try to square your hips down. Left leg is super active. If you need to bend the right knee, that's okay. Stay here for one more inhale. Exhale, begin to bend your right knee. Reach the left leg far behind you with control over your left foot on the mat. Left hand on the ground. Reach your right arm up towards the sky for easy twist. Reach the left heel back. Right knee reaches forwards. Spiral your chest open. Make sure that the left shoulder is stacked right on top of the left wrist and turn to the outer edge of the left foot. Step your right foot on top of the left leg, finding your vasistas in the side plank. See if you can gaze all the way towards the right fingertips. Keep the left side of the body strong. One more inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes down on the mat, bend the elbows, lower all the way down on the ground. Inhale, lift your chest up, bring your hands under the shoulders, spread your fingers wide, feet hips width apart. Really grab onto the mat with the fingertips and pull your heart forwards, draw the navel towards the spine, lengthen the back of the neck, sphinx pose. Stay with your breath. Think about really opening up the collarbones wide and drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Press the outer edges of your elbows down as well as the inner edges of your hands. So the thumb knuckle. So thumb knuckle outer edges of the elbows down on the mat. Curl your toes under and with an inhale, lift your hips up. Find one long line from the crown of the head to the heels. Forearm plank. Make sure that the elbows are right under the shoulders. And then start to walk your feet towards your elbows, finding your dolphin pose. It's like a short downwards facing dog you're just on your elbows. Really draw the navel in and tilt your sit bones high. Keep the neck relaxed. You're gazing between the legs towards the back wall. Option to stay here. Or 
You can give a kiss to your thumbs with the next exhale and then inhale, press back up. Do this three more times. So exhale, pressing forwards, inhale, coming back. Two more. Exhale, forwards, inhale, press back. Exhale, forwards, inhale, press back. Everybody, lower the knees down on the mat and find your child's pose for a moment. Let your hips sink down, relax the shoulders. Maybe turn your head side to side, give your forehead a little massage. With the next inhale, come up to all fours, curl your toes under, exhale, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, Exhale, bring the weight forwards and step the left foot between the hands. Lower the back knee on the ground. Inhale, lift your arms up. Low lunge, Anjaniyasana. Option to interlace the fingers and point the index fingers up for Kali Mudra. For a modification, you can bring your hands on top of the front thigh. Or maybe this time you interlace your fingers behind your back. Trying to get the heels of the hands together, opening up the front of the chest. One more inhale here. Exhale, release the hands down, lift your back knee off the mat, reach the hands forwards. With that inhale, bring your weight on the right leg, lengthen the chest forwards. Exhale, folding towards the left leg for standing split. Keep your right leg super straight and strong. Right hip is down. If you need to bend the left knee slightly, that's okay. Work on getting the nose towards the left knee. With the next exhale, begin to bend your left knee. Reach the right leg far behind you, moving with control. Lower the ball of the back foot on the mat. Right hand on the ground, left arm reaches up. Easy twist. Make sure that the right shoulder is stacked right on top of the right breast and spiral onto the outer edge of the right foot. Step your left foot on top of the right one. Vasistasana side plank. Gazing towards the left fingertips. One more inhale here, and then exhale, come back to center, bend the elbows, lower all the way down. Inhale, lift the chest, find your sphinx pose. So the same thing as we did before, spread the fingers wide and really grab onto the mat. Draw the navel towards the spine, draw the shoulder blades down your back, Lengthen the back of the neck. Stay with your breath. From here, curl your toes under and with an inhale, lift your butt off the mat. So one long line from the crown of the head to the heels. Draw the shoulder blades down the back and start to walk your feet towards the elbows. Coming to your dolphin pose. Again, option to stay here or maybe you take three more of the dolphin push-ups. Exhale, giving a kiss to the thumbs. Inhale, back to dolphin. Exhale, moving forwards. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, back. And then everybody, lower the knees down on the mat. Stick your hips towards the heels. And maybe reach the hands towards the ankles. Take a couple of deep breaths over here.
with the next inhale coming up to all fours exhale back to downwards facing dog inhale lift your right leg up stay here point your right toes extend your right leg and square your right hip down you're in your three-legged dog one more inhale in this position and exhale bring the weight forwards knee to nose try to touch inhale right leg goes up and back exhale weight forwards knee to right elbow inhale right leg goes up and back exhale weight forwards knee to left elbow try to touch inhale right leg goes up and back this time bend your right knee and open up the right hip let the left heel drop towards the ground. Try to keep the shoulders square towards the mat. Either stay here or begin to reach your right toes behind you, finding your wild thing. So you're on the ball of the right foot. Right arm reaches up and over. It's a back bend. Open up the heart. One more inhale here. With an exhale, begin to gather from the navel, coming back to center. Lengthen the right leg up and back. With an exhale, bring the weight forwards and very, very slowly, step your right foot next to your right pinky finger. Back knee stays off the mat, rocking forwards and back, opening up the hips. Step your left foot next to the left pinky finger and drop your hips down. Malasana yogi squat. Bring your elbows on the insides of the thighs, hands come to heart center and Anjali would drop. Think about directing your sit bones down and opening up the chest, opening up the collarbones. Lengthen the back of the neck. Relax your gaze. Breathe into your hips. With each inhale, create a bit more space in the body. With each exhale, moving into that space that you created. From here, lift your hips just two centimeters higher and reach your arms up towards the sky. Keep your arms super active, pressing onto the feet. With the next inhale, lift all the way up, come up to standing. Reach your arms up, look up. And then heel toe your feet, hips width apart, keep reaching the arms towards the sky. Begin to fold forwards with the next exhale. Try to go with the straight back, go slow. Once you feel like you cannot keep your back straight anymore, bend your knees. Plant your hands on the ground. Really spread your fingers wide. Press the knuckles down. You might need to step your feet just a little bit back. Bend your knees and get your knees to your armpits. Elbows come to a 90 degree angle like you were doing a Chaturanga. Weight moves forwards. Maybe you lift one leg off the ground. Maybe you lift two legs off the ground. Crow pose. With the next exhale, step or jump back, take your vinyasa, exhale pressing down, inhale lifting the chest, exhale back to downwards facing dog. Take a deep breath in through the nose, deep full breath out through the mouth. With the next inhale lift your left leg up, Exhale, bring your weight forwards, knee to nose, try to touch. Inhale, left leg goes up and back. Exhale, weight forwards, knee to left elbow, try to touch. Inhale, left leg goes up and back. Exhale, knee to right elbow. 
Inhale, left leg goes up and back. This time, bend your left knee, open up the left hip. Right heel drops down, shoulders square towards the ground. Either stay here or begin to reach the left toes behind you, finding your wild thing. Left arm reaches up and over, open up the heart. Right shoulder is super strong. With an exhale, begin to gather from your navel, coming back to center. Lengthen the left leg up and back. And exhale, weight moves forwards. Knee goes towards the left armpit. And then very gently place your left foot next to the left pinky toe. Rocking forwards, rocking backwards. Open up the hips. From here, step your right foot next to the left pinky toe. Sorry, right next to the right one. Bring your hands at the heart center. Use your elbows to open up the hips. Sit bones move down. Crown of the head lengthens up. Open up the collarbones and draw the shoulder blades down the back. Lift your hips just two centimeters away from the heels and then reach your arms up. Keep the arms super active. Press onto the soles of the feet and with an inhale, lift all the way up. Reach your arms up, look up. Stretch the body as long as you can. Then heel toe your feet, hips width apart, feet are parallel. With an exhale, hinging from the hips, begin to fold forward to the straight back. You can bend the knees as soon as you feel like your back is starting to curl up and then place your hands on the mat. Maybe step your feet just a slight bit behind. Really spread the fingers on the mat, press the knuckles down, bend the knees, get your knees to the armpits and then bring your weight forwards. Lift maybe one leg, maybe another leg off the ground, coming to your crow pose. Take a couple of breaths there. Make sure you're bringing your weight slightly forwards. Trying to lift your hips up, draw the navel in, and squeeze your heels towards your butt. Then once you're ready, step or float back. Either go straight back to your down dog or take your vinyasa. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhaling back to down dog. Take a deep, full breath in through the nose. Deep, full breath out through the mouth. With the next inhale, come up to your plank pose. And, exhale, and lower yourself all the way down on the ground. Press back to child's pose, Balasana. This time, really open your knees wide. Let the hips sink down, reach the arms forward. Roll up, sit on top of the heels, bring the knees together. If it means something to you, bring your hands together at the heart center. Close your eyes. Gently nod your head. Namaste.